So today's class is about the second C, which is the context. And this is the uh, C, which is very, very critical in the total journey of design. If you make any product away from the context, it becomes completely useless. We will see how one you know, particular aspect can kill an innovation and not let the product come into the market. So, you know, like we were talking about uh, each C and we are focusing on one aspect of the innovation. I was actually giving you one full case study. So here today we were doing the context. So let us look at the seven C's now again. What is this concern? How does concern come up? Tell me. You empathize with the problem. You empathize with the people who are facing the problem. You are in that environment. That is very critical. The second one is the context. And here you are understanding the problem, space and the environment. So the problem is not independent of the problem space. A number of times we empathize with the user, but we forget the problem space. So this particular case study, which we are going to discuss today is going to focus on the problem space. A number of times, very critical requirements, for example, you know, uh, CRP of Jawans who don't have water to drink when they are on long missions, that's a critical requirement. In those requirements, the context becomes paramount. Sometimes we are concerned about the problem, but we are not very particular about the circumstances in which the problem arises. Right? What are the circumstances? For example, let us take say the uh, police stick, which we studied earlier. The circumstance is when they are on those long duty hours, they need to have some rest sometimes. So that's the circumstance. If I just think about a seat for a policeman without the circumstances in which that whole situation will be, then it won't work. So the environment and the circumstance are very critical. A number of our policies and designs fail because of these very important you know, considerations of not looking at the social aspects and the cultural aspects of the users with which we are working. Similarly, another very important aspect is a socio-economic structure. People have a particular buying pattern, people have a particular financial limitations in their life. So you can't build a product or a service or a system which is not matching the financial possibilities of that particular community. So today, for example, I'll tell you, we've been working in arsenic filtration in rural uh, Varanasi and we gave them water filters which will filter arsenic because arsenic is poisonous. You all know that in these areas where there is groundwater depletion, the arsenic uh, from the soil is getting into the water. People don't even know and they're drinking this water out of 102 people die because of arsenic poisoning. For them, it is very severe. But then large companies came up and said, we will provide and then even government gave some support and they provided these filters, which had special candles. These special candles were expensive and they didn't know where to get it from. And finally, those filters are not being used, though it is life threatening. See, so we've been working on another you know, design for that, for those communities which can't you know, afford these maintenance uh, in the long run. So this socio-economic aspect becomes very, very critical in every project.